Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you a free sample from our bullet point pack. Let's check it out. All right, so you can download that sample title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it and you will get this folder. In this folder, you have a couple of things. Uh, you have the license, you got the instructions, you got the title to install and you got the font. Please uh, make sure to install the entire uh, Futura family uh, so the title work properly. So here you have the DRFX file, just double click on it to start the installation process uh, and just install. For the font, same thing, you just select all the Futura font and you just double click on it and it will start the installation process. Now that you've installed everything that you need, uh, you can just go back to DaVinci Resolve and you can start to use it. So right now we're on the edit page. You can simply find it by going here to effect down in titles and here you can search in the search bar for sample and you will get basically all the sample that you may already have from us as well as the bullet point minimal sample. So you can just take it, drag it here in your timeline and you can start to use it. So here, as you can see, you got a maximum of 10 bullet points with this title, and you can select here uh, in point count the number of points that you want uh, to appear. So here you can select, for example, five, uh, and you will have only five bullet points appearing instead of 10. You can as well here in the animation in, uh, choose the animation that you prefer. So you have fit in right, fit in left, fit in up, and fit in down. Uh, you can as well select here in animation out, the animation out that you prefer by default, there is none. Uh, so here, if we were to play it, uh, you will not get any animation out. If you want one, just select uh, one of the six options right here. So here I'm just gonna select uh, sync down, for example and that's gonna be my animation out. There is a couple of things that we can modify here in the inspector. We can change the size and position. So here, for example, if I would like uh, my bullet point to be center right here, I could do this. Uh, you can adjust the size uh, and you could adjust the angle right there of the entire composition. Then we got point controls and colors. Basically here, you can choose from a couple of options for those points. You can select square, you can select diamonds, and you can select circles. Then you can choose the color and the size of those points. So here we could reduce, for example, the size of those points and change the color for, for example, I don't know, uh, green right there. We could just change the color for all the points. Right now, I would just like to reset it to white. So I'm just gonna double click on the parameter. When you double click on a parameter, it's just gonna reset it to the default parameter uh, when you dragged the title in the timeline. Now moving on, we got the bullet point headings. So you can change the headings right here. So for example, DaVinci tutorials. Uh, and then you can just change the font and you can change the colors, the size, the tracking, the line spacing and the position. Then for the next one, you can change the text individually or uh, each of those points. So here you can change uh, each of those bullet points. So for example, here tips one, and then, and so on and so forth for each of your points. You can change the font, you can change the color, the size, the tracking, um, the position. And here you got something that gonna change the entire look of each of your point. You can either uh, toggle that box and have uh, no look apply to the entire thing or you can just tick the box you get basically here a background and here you got a drop down with a couple of options either text with background uh, text with underline or you can select here text with outline so basically you're gonna get like the text with like a, another color as an outline and as you can see here the outline is red that's the parameter here that you can change uh, same here with the background if we were to set the background uh, here and I would like to change it to orange for example you can do that right here and now your background will be orange now for the last drop down we got a background like on all our titles so here if we were to bring for example uh, a clip uh, and we don't have so much contrast here between all title and the clip and we would like to have like some kind of separation between the video clip and the title to make it pop a bit more we could raise the opacity of that background the background is animated with the title so if we were to play it here we got uh, the background animated uh, with the title so right now it's covering the entire frame but uh, if we want it to affect only a certain area we can also do that by here reducing for example the width and here we could adjust, for example, the position and just make it affect only one area of the frame. For example, right here, the left side of the frame. 
You could also as well adjust the height and again a bit the width and adjust the corner radius for example to have uh, like a square that go around it. You could have a solid here with the opacity. Uh, there is really a lot of options that you can choose from. Here the soft edge, you could have some sort of gradient, uh, you know, to have like a, some sort of fade in that go into your image. And that is a tiny bit more discreet just to make the overall title pop a tiny bit more. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this sample is part of our bullet point minimal pack. You can check it out on our website. It is available now. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this sample in the comment below and see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.